casual water what is casual water well welcome back this is our second rules video coming to you from Woody and Don and Gary's back there too you didn't even know Gary he films sometimes too so casual water you know if you're in the water hazard you're in the water hazard and a lot of times on a water hazard there'll be lines and if you're in that line then you're in the hazard but sometimes there's a line but then there's water outside of that line and you're not in the hazard then if there isn't a line, then the lake, uh, the shore of that lake is actually the line. So in this situation that Woody just showed you, it's definitely not in the hazard, but it's in water. So that means I get a free drop. Casual water is very simple, much like the last one we did about the sprinkler head. It's just like that, except in a sprinkler head, we know that's a man-made object and we get a free drop. In this situation, we've got to deem that it's in casual water. Now, how do you deem it to be in casual water? Well, first you look at it. I mean, if it's sitting in water and it's not in the lake, then it's in casual water. If you're not sure, but it's real squishy, I can set my foot down. Now, when I set my foot down, if I see water come up, then that's casual water. And the drop is just like the sprinkler head, just like I said. What I'm gonna do is find the nearest point of relief. I showed you guys that before. So where would I stand playing to the hole that I'm no closer to the hole and I'm no longer in the water? So I would, Woody, I would say that probably be right around here somewhere. I would take my ball and then I get to drop it one club length from that spot. No closer to the hole. So the hole is behind Woody right now. So no closer to that hole. I find out where it's nice and dry. It's nice and dry where I'm standing and where I'm swinging. Swing and stance is what casual water is all about. And then I'm going to drop it. Now pick up your club before you do that. Because if you hit your club, that'd be bad. But I'm just going to drop it with my arm at shoulder height. And once it sits there, it's in play. Now, if it bounced more than two club lengths, then I'd have to drop it again. If it does it again, then I get to place it. Does that make sense? So a lot of the rules are the same, right? Sprinkler heads, cart pass, casual water. Anytime you're not charged a stroke, it's always one club length from that nearest point of relief. Usually if you were charged a stroke like a water hazard, then it's two club lengths. So that's always a good thing to remember. All right, any questions? GustaRanchGolf.com. Call the shop, 480-354. One, two, three, four. Thanks for coming. We'll see you soon.